Alrighty guys, alrighty, so this is actually a very scary trade, but we have two confirmations within my two Fibonacci's. Um, yeah man, we're risking, oops, sorry, my stop loss is at 800. Bam, we're risking 1.8% uh, on this trade guys. Oh, still kind of tired. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm in profit though, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm actually very nervous because look at this big drop. So let's see what's up. Mm -hmm. But uh, let me see. But uh, yeah, I'm risking 1.8 percent. Well, that's 10 lots. I threw nine, so about 1.7 percent. That 1.6, almost 1.7 percent. <coughs> Yeah, I'm gonna risk that. So let's see what happens, guys. If I do hold my my trade to overall TP, then unfortunately I will finish the challenge, and then the hell am I gonna do for ten days? Anyway, <laughs> oh yeah, there's a verification after, but I think you have to complete the ten days first to get. I don't freaking know, dude. We'll find out. Anyways, we'll see what's good. We'll see what's good. All right, guys. So actually. I'm not even gonna hold that trade. I took 12 pips, I'm out. I saw that price had a very big potential of actually going right back down. You know, um, I'm feeling insecure about the trade, so I just ended up closing it. Um, no point in actually holding it. So let me kind of show you what is good over here. So um, actually price just had a 10 pip drop too, it's so funny. So we ended up taking about 10 pips right over here, guys. Let's get this focus. 10 pips right, well, 12 pips right there on GJ. Made $1,000 in 10 minutes. We're chilling, we're chilling. So there's actually a potential that since price did break under this little resistance right over here, I see there's a possibility it can actually break and retest, keep coming down. So I just got out of the position. I'll come back tomorrow when I feel a little bit more confident. So it's better to secure the bag than anything. Um, other than that, guys, we are up. About, whoa, look at that. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little tired, guys. I'm running off like three hours of sleep. So, yeah, guys, this is our challenge so far. We got the challenge two days ago. We're up about $7,000, 7%. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good. Let's see. Let's see what happens, guys. Let's see. Price is coming back down. There's actually a very big potential for a wick fill to the bottom, which is about a yeah, it's about a 30 pip drop from there. So I'm not even gonna risk it, guys. There's really no point. So, anyways, guys, that's it for the session. Um, yeah, nothing else to say, guys. Uh, <laughs> nothing else to say. You know the vibes, guys. I'll be right back. Maybe who knows? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Yo, what is good guys, Daniel Savage here. So welcome to another trade that we are in and it is not going too well. Why is it not going too well? Because let me tell you what's happening guys. <laughs> We're trading gold. And for everybody who knows, gold has been on some crazy X Games modes. Steroids are just straight, like just straight fuckery dog. Like talking about dropping 80 pips, 100 pips. 500 pips, 800 pips in like literally hours. And I'm like, damn, bro. So we did get in a little aggressive trade, but we're using proper risk management. I'm using 1.6% on this trade. So let's see what's good. Currently I did get in right over here. So I saw that price did uh, reject this major level of support over here. It came up, made green, you know, broke above this little level of resistance, came up, formed resistance over here. And then this candle broke above. So I did take an impulse entry right over here with stops under this previous wick with a 53 pip stop, well, a 50 pip stop loss. And to target up here for about a 2.26 risk to reward ratio. So we are risking 1.6% exactly. Why? Because there is a big possibility if we do come and reach this little level of resistance right here, which I am most likely sure it's going to happen, but it is gold. So you don't know what could happen. You don't know what could happen. Either way, we're up 7% only in two setups. So let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see what's gonna happen. Well, three setups actually. So let's see what's gonna happen, guys. If we do get stopped out here, we're only gonna we're only gonna lose 
1.6%. Other than that, guys, if we do win this trade, we'll actually complete the challenge, which would kind of be kind of boring for this series because, like, dude, like, no, it was only like four videos, like four setups. I mean, it could have been done sooner than that, but either way, I mean, I don't know. So I do feel like we might take a loss on this trade. But then again, like, I'm just sticking to my stops, bro, because my, there you go. Because my risk management is on point, you heard me? So let's see what's good, let's see what's good. Either way, eh, we got stops right over here. So if anything, bam, we only lost 1.6% and we'll come back next session and then we'll look at other pairs. But other than that, big potential, we could actually complete the challenge. And big potential, we could be down 1.6%. So anyways, guys, uh, let's see what's good. Let's see what's good, guys. If we do take this L, it will not affect me. It will not affect me at all. Risk management is key because if I do lose in this trade, I'm going to most likely make it back in my next trade like if it was nothing. So either way, guys, um, let's see what happens. Currently right now, $1,181.85 in drawdown. So, hmm, we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what's going to happen. Anyways, I'll update you guys. Uh, I don't like how this 30-minute candle, this new 30-minute candle just started to melt a little bit without even a push to the upside. So that right there is kind of scary. Hmm. Other than that, yeah, this video is getting kind of long. So let's see what's good. Let's see what's good. We'll come back some results now. So guys, unfortunately, unfortunately, man, we did end up getting stopped out over here on gold. So uh, as you can see over here, we did take about a 1.6% loss, you know, and uh, you know, I'm actually kind of salty about this, but either way, we're still up 5% for the week. Now look at this. This is exactly why I'm a little bit salty. I'm a little bit salty because if I would have waited a few more minutes, I would have been able to catch this beautiful GJ trade that is happening currently right now, which I am in this trade <laughs> literally right now, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but you know um we're risking exactly about 20 pips over here so two thousand dollars exactly about 20 pips over here this hundred and five thousand dollar account so technically speaking it is a little bit under two percent and um kind of crazy because we can only have we can only have about a five thousand max daily loss so i mean i know i'm not going to hit it but I mean, I'd be almost close to it because I'd be almost at $4,000 loss if I were to lose this trade, but I know I'm not going to lose this trade. Either way, let me show you why I'm actually taking this trade. I'm actually taking this trade due to the fact that over here on GJ, notice how price over here rejected super strong major levels of resistance then came melting back down, had a retracement on a Fibonacci play, came back down, formed a range at the support. And then over here on this 30 minute candle right over here as price is rejecting this level right here as well which is resistance also 38 level on the fib uh basically if you look over here we have this level of resistance right over here that was really strong the price came back down created lows came back up came back down came back down again and then we had this fat rejection over here and i had a feeling since we are trading under the 50 sma we were most likely going to fill this wick and keep going down. Sorry guys, I'm a little tired, running off barely any sleep. Uh, so much work in the last day. So we did have a little low retracement over here on the fib. This would have been a perfect entry right over here, but our stops are literally 10 pips. So from here, the entry to above here, and then boom, we're risking 2%. So we're risking 2% to make about 2.43 times our risk. Meaning if this trade actually plays out, what happens we might complete the challenge let's see what happens currently right now we are winning uh we're winning I think oh my god can we please like focus bro like why does this camera do that dog like oh it's the lighting in the background that's why because the lighting is red but we're currently up uh 732 dollars let's see what's good let's see what's good guys other than that I'm still very confident in this trade and um yeah, guys, if we do take back-to-back uh, -back L's, then you know what that means. We will not trade until probably next week. I don't know. You know, because it's Wednesday. And I will probably trade tomorrow. We have to wait another 24 hours in order to get back in. So I respect 
all my confluences to the downside in this trade. So I wish I would have seen this set up a lot sooner than the gold one. I'm actually kind of disappointed in myself, kind of embarrassed as well. But what can I say? What can I say? Also, notice how price over here, if you really look, this is like actually the level of support that I'm looking at on the 30 minute, which let's see on the 30 minute. Price did close under this level of support. So basically, yeah, let's see what's good. Stop loss is still up here. So I'm still very confident in this trade. This thing can just melt over here, man. That would be lovely. Up currently $900. Okay, okay. Give me that gas money, baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'll update you guys on the results. How crazy would it be if we would have literally just melt down how crazy would it be if we just literally melted down like literally live like it just started going go, 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 go. and we completed the challenge literally live <laughs> that would be funny <sighs> let's see what happens let's see what happens anyways guys uh i'll update you guys on the results of this trade depending on how we respect this area or this wick right here i don't know if i'm gonna stay in or i'm gonna get the hell out either way it's the Asian session about to get to London session. Well, it's only it's 1 a.m. So we're about to get to like the pre-London. But um, yeah, we got a new one hour candle right over here. As you can see, it's one o'clock, 103. So mostly like uh, like I've always mentioned, uh, price most likely almost every one hour candle or any other candle is most likely going to see that time frame lows before it seems the time frame highs as well as uh, seeing the time frame highs before seeing the time frame lows. So I'm anticipating and hoping that this was the time frame high before it continued to go low. In this situation, the one hour candle, so the one hour low. Anyways, guys, let's see what's good. Let's see what's good. Hopefully we can get this shit going. Let's get this shit going, dawg. Yep. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Man, come on, bro. I do this, bro. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. Stop playing with me, bro. I do this, man. I might hold a little bit under here to just complete the challenge. $1,500 off. $1,300 off. $1,000 off. Can we? There you go. Come on, man. We do this. We do this. Oh, I don't like that little perfect wig right there, actually. So what I'm going to do is... Ooh. Hmm. What should I do? Should I close or hold it? Damn, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think I should do? That's a lot of momentum. That's a fat moment. Can we focus on my damn face? There you go. Yeah, I noticed that the le the red lighting actually really makes it hard. So we have 4,000. Up two times our risk. A little bit more than that. Man, what's about to happen, dog? What is about to happen? Ugh. Holy damn. 800 away from completing the challenge, guys. On one trade on this one. Let's get it. Risk 2% to make about. And 2.5%. Okay. Yeah, see, we make 5% on this trade, only risking 2%. Come on, baby. I don't like how it's rejecting this level, though, bro. Because you know what could happen? It could just wick right back up. And then we're going to lose all those profits. We leave them all on the table. Hmm. Let's see. I kind of want to get this live. Look at that big momentum push. So, I mean, hmm. There is a big possibility that we could just get a little bit more of a push. I mean, just five more pips down. All I need is five more pips down, and that's it. Like, I'm literally going to just... You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, guys. Uh, we ended up getting a little shot right here of espresso. <sighs> I've been running off no sleep, guys. You guys have no idea. I'm surprised I'm actually trading decent. 
Like I'm literally training decent with uh, like for like having no sleep. <laughs> literally, when I have no sleep and I train, man, I don't do too well to be honest. I'll be super honest with you, man. Uh, and, uh, you know, a a good night's rest is actually very important. You know, I actually bought I bought a specific bed that kind of makes it impossible to have back pains, correct? So that way, you know, a oh man, I don't know what to do, guys. We'll talk about that. Yeah, basically, I had a I bought a specific bed in order to not have back pains. So that way, you know, I would never have to go through drama and stuff like that. Cause like literally, bro, if you don't have a good night's rest, that's gonna that's gonna affect your performance. Believe it or not, it will affect your performance. Come on, bro. I don't yeah. this shit makes me wanna close, bro, because this was my overall take profit, but I'm trying to like complete the challenge, like five more pips, and I can complete the freaking challenge, bro. You know what I'm saying? So like let's see what's good. I mean, let's see the one hour. Damn, one hour just at that major level of support. Uh let's see. We're just gonna we're just gonna close it, guys. Are we gonna close it? Yeah. Oh no. Let's see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna modify this. Yeah. Hmm. What the frick? My stop loss is not even at break even. Damn, I should just close it, bro. Do it! Just do it! Hmm. Man, you know what? I'm gonna close it, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, close this trade. Look at this. 900 bucks away from completing the damn challenge, guys. I'm not even going to risk it. Why? Because pretty strong support. Major level support, to be honest. Uh, from like... So I'd rather not risk it for the biscuit on this one, guys. I'm going to take my profits. I'm going to come back next session. It's not even London yet. You know what I'm saying? So... Let's see what's good. Let's see what's good. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next part. Ha! <laughs> we exited here, and look what happened. 